Uh, Yoni, what's your connection to this family's of lone soldiers? Um, I am actually a former lone soldier. Um, I served in the Golani Brigade in uh, the 51st Battalion, Khamishim uh, Vechad. My mom is actually a big part of the organization, um, and she's good friends with Larry Platt. I've known him for a while, so it's kind of a whole background. So you, you spoke Hebrew well enough to serve in the IDF. I did, yeah. Why not stay there? Why'd you come back? Um, honestly, Israel's an amazing place, but um, I was there for three years because I did a program um, first off where I also I was volunteering in Mada. I was really immersed into the Israeli culture, but I don't know, for especially for an American, it's a hard place to live and a hard place to stay um, because of the whole the whole system and. I would definitely, I mean, I would definitely buy a house in Israel someday, but I think for me, it's, I, I wasn't meant to live there at the current time. Uh, do you have any relatives in the IDF? Uh, my sister's actually in the IDF, yeah. When? She's in the IDF right now. She gets out in June, I think. She's in the Combat Intelligence Unit. Uh, why would, uh, if, if you didn't have to serve, and she didn't have to serve, why, why would you go all the way to Israel? Why not join the American Army or Air Force or service? It's a good question. Um, I actually got asked that while in uniform by a journalist who was in Israel. Um, I don't know. When I went to Israel my first time, I fell in love with the country and I thought about joining the Army. Thought kind of went, came and went from my mind. Um, and then I went back to Israel for my year program and I was just tossing and turning at night and I, I couldn't decide between going and staying and I realized that every time I tried to forget it and move on that it was something that I would just regret not doing um, and maybe a little bit of bravado in there. Your parents must be Israeli? No, American. Did they think you were nuts? Uh, yeah, a little bit. My dad, my dad at first didn't agree with the idea. My mom was more into it but after a while they understood. They understood that there was no stopping me. Oh, uh, what can you say to the uh, detractors or the doubters of Israel's uh, justness and righteousness in what it needs to do to keep the country safe? Um, I mean, I experienced firsthand. Um, I was also in intelligence, so I was, I guess, I got an even further look into it. But I mean, my friends, the people that are like me, people that are younger than me, all they want to do is protect their families and, and their land, and they don't want to hurt anybody. And I mean, that's really what the army is made up of. People like me who come from out of the country to volunteer, risk my life. And people from in the country who just, all they want to do is, is defend their homeland. And, and every time there's bad press against Israel, stuff like that, it's just, it just doesn't sit well with them. Because is it fair? I, I don't think it's fair what the media says at all. Because it's not true. I mean, I experienced firsthand, like I said. Um, Does the media misrepresent the situation? Definitely, yeah. Is there any place that someone can go to uh, to get the story straight? Israel, you got to experience firsthand. It's an amazing country. I mean, it's really it's a home for anybody, Jewish, not Jewish, Christian, Muslim, any religion, any race. It's it's a melting pot of amazing people. What does the uh, the security of Israel mean for the rest of the world? Um, well, I think that more than people realize that Israel is involved in our day-to-day -day life. Whether it's our iPhones, our computers, the technology we use, soda stream. No, no, but what does Israel's safety mean? What would, would to happen if uh, Palestinians just conquered it and made it uh, uh, the Islamist state of Palestine? What would that mean for the rest of the world? Well, that's, I mean, that's what I was getting to, that if Israel ceased to exist and if, if its security was compromised, the rest of the world would feel it too, whether they know it or not. Uh, yeah, I think Israel is definitely one of the world leaders in the fight against terror.